Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1498, number of subsequences that satisfy the given sum condition. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given nums array and a target variable, right? So initially, I will sort the input array. So here I have already picked the in sorted input array. Then I will be having left and right pointers. So here we are going to have the minimum value in the left pointer and the maximum value in the right pointer. Since we have sorted the input array, right? Then we need to sum the minimum value and the maximum value, right? Which is nothing but 3 and 7 here. So we are going to get 10. Then I need to check whether this value is less than the target value that is 9 in this case. Since this condition fails, we need to move our right pointer. We won't consider this combination, right? So we will reduce our right pointer by 1. So we will move and pick the next maximum value that is 6. So if I add 3 and 6 now, that is the minimum and maximum value, I am going to get 9. So now this condition is valid, right? So since this condition is satisfied, we need to pick all the values between the minimum value and the maximum value. So in this case, 3, 5, 6 are the values, right? Between minimum and maximum value. So we will pick 3, 5 and 6. So now we need to count the number of subsequences that can be formed using these three values that is the possible combinations to calculate that i need to pick the maximum value index that is 2 here the sixth value index is 2 and the minimum value index that is 0 then i will take difference between these two values so 2 minus 0 i'm going to get 2 here then I will take 2 power this value that is 2. So I am going to get 4. So 4 possible combinations that can be formed using these 3 values. So I will be having a count variable. I will add 4 to the count variable. Right? So count will be 4 now. So after doing that I will move my left pointer. Right? So if the condition fails, I will move my right pointer if the condition is satisfied. And after calculating the count, I will move my left pointer. So now I will add 5 and 6. Right? So if I add 5 and 6, I am going to get 11. This condition fails. So I will move my right pointer. Right? So now left and right pointer are pointing to same value I will add 5 2 times I am going to get 10 again the condition fails so I will move my right pointer so when the right pointer is less than the left pointer I will break out of the loop right so finally I will return 4 so the time complexity will be n log n since we are sorting the input array and space will be constant space, right? That's all the logicals. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So here I'm sorting the input array. So here I'm initializing left and right pointers, zero and the last index. Then I will initialize count variable as zero at the start. Then I will write a while loop. I will run the while loop until the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer. Then in the first if condition, I will add the minimum value and the maximum value. If it is greater than the target value, I will move my right pointer to the left. Else, if the condition satisfies, I will count the number of subsequence that can be formed using the right and left indices, right? And then Counting the number of subsequences, I will move my left pointer to the right. 
then finally I will return the count variable by taking the modulo of it right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys